Hello my friends, I'm Professor Hans von Puppet. Today we'll be taking a look at a Euro-inspired area enclosure worker placement bluffing game, which is heavy on downtime, but still gateway-ish and simple. Hello. Huh. I just realized something. I don't own Carcassonne. What? So, what, what does that have to do with this, uh, this word? And what is the word? Bird? No, bird is not a word. The word is meeple. Yeah, so I have this meeple here from uh, Trois, but it's still the same uh, same design as the Carcassonne meeple. So, what is a meeple? It looks like a person, right? In Carcassonne, you use tokens to represent you as a person to be on the roads and in the cities and uh, on the fields. And these persons, they look like this, you know, it's uh, just a head with a... Uh, hands and legs, and they have a uh, very nice shape, a rounded shape, and uh, uh, in the late 2000, uh, a person uh, named Alison Hansel was playing Carcassonne, and uh, you have these different colors, you know, this is my people, and this is your people, you know, matches the shirt, so, yeah, uh, can I place my people here, and uh, take, take my people there, and eventually during the night, uh, my people became meeple. And Meeple became synonymous with this kind of figure. So this also later uh, evolved into other Meeples, but also to uh, any Meeples, or even Sheeple. Sheeple might also refer to us as, uh, you know, mindless persons following the... I find Meeples very cute, and uh, they can look nice on display as well. And uh, this year I'm going to Aston as well, and uh, there they will sell Meeple jewelry, you know, and Meeple what is it called plates and forks and everything so i'm looking forward to get some meeple stuff so uh, meeples equals goodies i don't know okay thanks for watching well i hope that cleared things up for you until next time have fun gaming